Welcome to SWBH Pathology TV News. Today we will tell you more about our trust and the pathology department. Pathology plays a really important role in the clinical services that we provide. This video is designed to help you make your best application to come and work with us. But first, on this nice Sunday afternoon, let's pop down into the centre of Birmingham and see what is going on. Birmingham and its surroundings are a truly cosmopolitan and European city. Greater Birmingham is a fantastic place to work and live in. For the rest of our filming, let's go to some more secret places around our hospitals. Behind us is Thomas Talford's 1829 bridge over the canal. The canal runs from Birmingham to Wolverhampton. When the canal opened, it brought coal from the black country to Birmingham, firing the industrial revolution. Here are the key things you need to think about when applying for a job working with us. First of all, the NHS jobs website. Secondly, the application form. Thirdly, an insight into how shortlisting takes place. And finally, what happens if you are shortlisted for an interview? To help understand more about working with us, here is some advice from our pathology managers. All, all the jobs that advertise on the NHS require you to be registered with the NHS jobs website. So for band two and three posts, you need to consider the following. You need to be very clear on the qualifications that you've got. In particular, we're very interested in whether you've got grade C for maths and English GCSE or equivalent. And also, you very much need to detail your um, previous laboratory experience or any laboratory experience that you've got. For band six posts, I would definitely expect people to uh, come and look around the department. It shows a degree of interest. For the personal statement, it needs to be very clear, it needs to be well written, well spaced, and you need to take care with your grammar and punctuation to make it nice and easy for me to read so I can extract that information from it. So if you can uh, write down, based on the person spec, what, how you meet those skills based on the person spec, so you can write down key points. And for bands two and three, we get hundreds of applications. In fact, very often the um, post will close on the NHS job site within hours of it being posted. As a phlebotomist, we're not looking for phlebotomy skills. What we are looking for are staff, uh, uh, people who have got GCSEs or equivalent or have worked within the health sector. Phlebotomy is a training that we can provide when they start the job. So when people get shortlisted, the manager sets up an interview schedule. You'll then receive an email from NHS Jobs. So it's very important that you keep checking your email. I always take note of the personal specification because there's no point you applying for the job when you know that the specific, um, personal specification you didn't meet it. Okay, so I'm a newly qualified biomedical scientist. So I'm um, BAM5. I was interviewed by two people. Um, two managers of histology. I was asked some general questions, but mostly the lab interview revolved around the actual tour of the lab um, and some skills tests. Um, the lab itself is lovely. Consider the details in the personal specification. If you do not meet the requirements, you may be wasting your time. When filling out your application, make sure that your key strengths jump out to the reader. Remember to get all the basic details down on the form. We currently have hospitals here at Sandwell, City Hospital, Dudley Road, Rowley Regis and Lisos in Smethwick. We employ over 7,000 staff. Our catchment area includes a population of 530,000 people living in northwest Birmingham and Sandwell. This is the site of the new Midland Metropolitan Hospital. Final government approval for the Midland Met occurred in July 2014. It's hoped the hospital will be fully open by 2019. At the Midland Met, we will see a blood bank, biochemistry and haematology laboratories, along with urgent facilities for histopathology. The main SWBH pathology laboratories will see all departments coming together on one site. Decisions are still to be made on exactly how this will be done. The hospital will fully open in 2019. The new Midland Metropolitan Hospital gives us lots to look forward to as a trust. 
Samwell and West Birmingham Hospital's pathology department has around 350 staff. Teamwork in our scientific activities includes everything from relevant IT right through to take, taking forward innovations such as blood spot testing. Social team building is quite an emphasis as well, with staff learning to sail, going on ski holidays and doing many other forms of activities. Going slow, I think, just to keep in the frame. Matterhorn, Petros.